Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you all. My name is Arshar Siakadri and today we are talking about chapter number two. So lesson number one, living things in an environment. I must, I know that you guys are excited to so listen up carefully. Food chains in a local habitat. Now, what is a habitat and a feeding relationship? So a habitat is a home in the environment for plants and animals. So you know that where uh, uh, plants and animals live, that is known as a habitat in the environment. So the plants and animals are together, they live together in a feeding relationship. So they live in a habitat in the environment so there are large habitats and small habitats large habitats include oceans sea areas rivers lakes forests deserts and etc uh, now small habitats include home gardens and parks so now i will give you example of small habitats vegetable garden is a home or a habitat of many plants and animals so maybe some people or children have a garden so you must have been seeing like their insects or different types of um, bugs and you know those uh, uh insects dangerous insects so they must be eating your plants you know that so that's what i'm telling you in this so they are uh, they have a habitat it's their habitat for them okay so what is a feeding relationship you might be wondering what's a feeding relationship now here's the answer to that plants and animals live in the habitat with relationship and it is called feeding relationship so when plants and animals live together it is known as a feeding relationship okay now for example caterpillars eat spinach leaves and birds eat caterpillars so over here i have made this diagram so you can see that spinach is eaten by the caterpillar the arrow uh, indicates that it is eaten by over here instead of arrow you can also write eaten by spinach eaten by caterpillar caterpillar eaten by bird now next one what is the feeding relationship again now we will be telling you example Stock borers make holes in mazes. Stocks and lizards eat stock borers. Now, these are stock borers. Okay, so the uh, stock borers are really dangerous because they destroy your crops. They eat every single thing of your crop and nothing is left because um, it is there in, uh, it's the, in the environment. It is their habitat to eat and to live there. So the plant is their habitat. Now, other animals help to fight these pests so for example birds like to eat stock borers so if uh, if something is like less in uh, less in one area so the other area will be very going down the things will be going down okay so i will be giving you an example i, I i'll explain myself um because maybe some children don't understand but listen up now stock borers eat your plants and what if sometimes you don't get birds like birds love to eat stock borers you know that uh it's their food uh, birds like to eat stock borers but what if if birds are finished and stock borers are coming and coming and coming they will destroy your plants there will be no human beings left so remember that if there is something less so the other thing will be more less and more so it should be a balance okay now Pest is an unwanted plant or animal such as an insect that eats your flowers. Now, I have told you already that stock borers is a pest because it eats your flowers and plants. So, some birds eat caterpillars and lizards eat stock borers. As I have told you that um, birds eat caterpillars and lizards eat stock borers. So, you can say also that birds can eat stock borers and lizards can eat caterpillars also. It's the same, okay? So, no problem to worry if I have told you, but it's the same. What is a food chain? Now, let's learn about a food chain, shall we? We can depict a feeding relationship using a food chain. A food chain describes the feeding relationship between a plant and an animal. Now, a food chain, one of a food chain is, so over here, let me show you carefully. Now, the grass is eaten by the grasshopper. This one, the grass is eaten by the grasshopper. And then the grasshopper is eaten by the blue jay. This arrow is indicating that the grasshopper is eaten by the blue jay. Then the blue jay is 
eaten by the owl. Uh, owls eat the blue jay. Blue jay eats the grasshopper. Grasshopper eats the grass. Now over here, the grass is eaten by the rabbit. The rabbit is eaten by the hawk. So that's it. The hawk eats the rabbit. The rabbit eats the grass. So leaves are eaten by caterpillar. Okay. Caterpillar is eaten by snake. Snake is eaten by owl. So we can, in other words, we can say that owl eats snake, snake eats caterpillar, and caterpillar eats leaves. Now, next slide. So over here, I have shown you, sorry. Over here, I have shown you uh, another slide where you can uh, think and see. So this is the producer. The, uh, you'll be learning these uh, producer, consumer, uh, consumer, and uh, consumer uh, in other um, in the next lesson. Uh, right now, I think I didn't teach you it. So we have taught you producer only. So producer is the plant because it makes its own food. Plants makes their own food. That's why it is known as the producer. Caterpillars and humans and animals cannot make their own food. It's simple. They eat the plants or uh, they eat other animals, okay? Now, producer. So the flower is eaten by the caterpillar. So the caterpillar, uh, caterpillar gets the energy from the flower. Then the frog eats the caterpillar. The frog gets energy by the caterpillar. Then the snake eats the frog and the snake gets energy by the frog. Then the owl eats the snake and the owl gets energy from the snake. So do you understand now? I guess so. So let's move on to the next slide, children. Now, what you have learned. This is very important. You can write these notes. These are very easy notes and very simple. You can even write these in my lectures. So now listen up, children. Come on. Uh, the definition of a food chain is a system where a small animal, a uh, small animal is the food for a larger animal, which in turn is the food for even a larger animal. So over here in short words, I can say you, you can write this note. Uh, this is a bit long, but I'll tell you in short words. So listen up. Now, in the food chain system, a small animal is, uh, is a food is uh, eaten by a larger animal. And then the larger animal is eaten by even a larger animal. Okay? Then an example of food chain is a fly big, uh, uh, being eaten by a frog. And then the frog is eaten by a larger animal. Now, uh, just as I told you over here, uh, a small animal is eaten by the larger animal. So the fly is a small animal. The frog is the larger uh, large animal. So the fr uh, fly is eaten by the frog. Then the frog is eaten by a larger animal. For example, hawk, eagle, snake, anything. Okay? See now, pest is an unwanted plant or animal such as insects that eat your flowers. I have already told you that pest is an unwanted plant. So it eats your flowers, for example, stock borers. Now, plants and animals live in a habitat with relationships and it is called feeding relationship. So as I have told you earlier also, so uh, plants and animals, both of them are living together in a habitat, which is known as feeding relationship. Then a food chain describes the feeding relationship between a plant and an animal. Uh, wait, sorry. Uh, so over here, I can tell you that a food chain is describing the feeding relationship between a plant and an animal. It is describing the feeding relationship between a plant and animal. Now, over here, I can as well tell you that in these short notes, maybe um, these are long, so you can't write it. I give you just some time if you want to. But knowing in going further, you can understand it really easily because it tells you that how it is done okay so a small animal is eaten by a larger animal and then the larger animal is eaten by an even larger animal so i have given you an example then pest is an unwanted plant or animal it eats away your flowers or plants okay plants and animals live together in a habitat which is known as feeding relationship and a food chain describes the feeding relationship between a plant and animal. Okay, so guys, thank you for listening to my lecture carefully. And I hope you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, share this video. And do not forget to subscribe because that will be a great favor for me. So bye, guys.